my last year and moving to Baton Rouge and everything, um, becoming a locksmith. So uh, last year, I got to break into safes, vaults, pawn shops, like pretty much anything you can think of I got to break into. Um, most people don't get to go where I went. I went in jails, police stations, I uh, did a lot of stuff. And this is all in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, I left October 10th last year and went to Ethel, Louisiana first and lived there for three months. And then I moved to Baton Rouge and looked into a job as a locksmith. And it's pretty interesting. Um, I first learned to pick locks by doing like normal residential homes. And it's like, it's pretty scary how easy it is to get into a house. Like it takes like two or three minutes if you know what you're doing. And uh, after like two or three months of doing that, I moved up to like high security locks, doing jail locks and like electronic locks, stuff like that on safes. And uh, got to the point where I was doing like vault doors and banks and things like that. And uh, like resetting combinations and things like that on those big vault doors. And uh, those aren't as easy to get into. Those, some of those will take up to three eight hour days of just working on one door. And then uh, some of the safes and houses that we'd go open is pretty crazy. You'd see like, you know, just big bags of drugs and cash and all sorts of stuff locked in these safes. Um, and I would also do automotive locks. And that's even scarier because like if you own like a Chevy pickup or something like that, it takes like like five seconds to get into. Like you can just pop one key in and then open the door. And then uh, I got to learn a lot and break into a lot of places and go a bunch of places I never thought I would. Um, being a locksmith was definitely one of the coolest things I've done. And uh, you know, if you can go learn how to do that or learn how to pick locks, it's definitely definitely comes in handy because I, mean, I can always get anywhere I need to go, whether I should be there or not. So that's it. My name is Jennifer, Jen for short. Um, this is my introduction speech. The best way for me to introduce myself to you guys is to tell you about me. Um, being an older student, I was going to say that you guys have a little bit more interesting lives than I do, but I think it's just because they were kind of interesting. Uh, I'm a full time mom and a full time student. Uh, I paid my dues to get here. Was married at 22, had my daughter at 23, um, had a full time career for Oklahoma Natural Gas where I actually ended up being in the computer engineering department, which is what inspired me to come back to school eventually. Um, when my daughter was two and a half, me and her dad got divorced. Uh, I've been on my own ever since. Uh, I've been engaged one time since then, but didn't end up going through with it. So, um, I have a lot of love and support in my family. I actually live in Norman with my grandmother. She helps me with my daughter and stuff, with studying and all of that good stuff. So, I'm very blessed in that department. Um, when, <clears throat> when I started at ONG, I actually started in a call center. Uh, moved my way up to the customer accounting department and then eventually into the computer engineering department. I worked there for five years. Um, when me and my daughter's father got divorced, he actually worked for the company. So I discontinued working there. It was a little too difficult. So um, after that, I became a stay-at-home mom with my daughter for a couple of years. And then was going to go into cosmetology. And actually, that was right before the economy went really bad. So my grandmother actually inspired me to go ahead and do the computer engineering. So that's what I wanted to do in the end. I just didn't want to spend four or five years getting my master or my bachelor's and then my master's without working. So, but with her help and support, I've been able to be a full-time student. I'm actually in my second year right now. Eventually, I think I'm going to move on and go to OU and just go ahead and get my bachelor's and then hopefully my master's. Um, I'd like to intern in a couple of places soon. Probably shoot for next semester or next summer. I want to do some internships in some corporate corporations in the computer department. But that's pretty much all I've got. Thank you guys.
accepting applications for people that wanted to be online investigators. So uh, after the bill show, we went to the and filled out the uh, application, and they did the interview, and that was a very long night, and I didn't sleep, because they said we would give you callbacks if you made the uh, team. So all night long, I was like having dreams about all kinds of stuff, and then it was like probably about 10 or 11 o'clock, they called me and said, hey, uh, your husband and, and uh, you are going to be able to do So... Um, not only did I go to the ghost tour, but then I also uh, was able to do ghost tours with that particular team, which I'm not going to name the team just for the confidentiality. Um, yeah, okay. And uh, so eventually, uh, let's see, like a year into the time when I was with that, with that particular team, I decided to go on my own. which we're supposed to go to somewhere else, but you can't get in there because of the government uh, property. And so we we're right on the border of Elton, Texas, or Kansas, so we decided to go there to the ghost town out there. Um, obviously, we didn't do any investigating because there's still people actually live in that ghost town. It's uh, less than 20 people that live there. Um, and the team that I went on the ghost tours with were very unprofessional, and the lady actually called me and asked me to be... Thank you. 